Hey guys, with Halloween coming up, I wanted to create a tutorial on how to make a jack-o'-lantern. Uh, so first I looked around the web and see if anyone else had one. I found a couple. Uh, one, one was really good, but neither one really worked well with the new version of Animator, so uh, I decided to make uh, my own. Okay, So here we go. Uh, to start off, we're going to use the sphere tool. Click in the middle, drag out. I'm going to switch over here to flat shaded. And with this still selected, we're going to we're going to actually let's double click on it first. Uh, we're going to increase the number of uh, longitude lines. Have it something 20 or above, 20, 24, 26, something like that. So I'm going to do let's do 24. Click OK. Actually, I'm going to do one less, 22. Okay. All right, so there we go. With it still selected, let's go to Build. Uh, and let's do Convert to Mesh. Let's go to View, Top. All right, so the goal right now is we want to select every other uh, column of faces, uh, every other section. Uh, so to do that, we need to go to point edit mode, face select, and you can select them one at a time, but we're going to go to drag select and see if we can get uh, a few more, because one nice thing about drag select is not only going to get the ones uh, on this side of the sphere, it'll get the ones in the back side as well, as long as you have front and back both selected. So with drag select selected, let's see how many we can get here. Yeah, so we've got quite a few, and you have to right click when you're doing it because you're adding to the ones you've already selected. Because if, if you left click and drag select, it's going to delete the ones you've already selected. So right click, drag select. And some are going to be hard to get. I'll have to select them individually. Uh, there we go. It's not working too terribly. I'm sure someone watching this will find a better way to do this. but. This is the tedious part. Going around and selecting. So, as you see, I'm missing some of them. When you drag select, you have to make sure uh, it's all within the drag select tool. That that's rectangle. Uh, here we go. Uh, that's not bad. So now I'm going to switch to the pointer tool and just start right clicking. As long as you're right clicking, you're adding to it. If you left click, it will deselect everything, so do not left click. If you select something you don't like or you don't want to select, you actually use the middle, the, the scroll button as a button, press that, it will deselect it. Uh, let's go to view and now go to bottom. And let's get all the ones that we missed. Because when you drag select, it gets them on the opposite side. When you just select, it does not. So that's why we have to fill in the ones we've missed. All right, that, sh that should be all. Uh, looks good. I'm going to go to front view. OK, still looks good. I'm going to use the bump tool. I tried a few of these tools out when I was testing it. And the bump tool seemed to do a pretty good job of giving like a pumpkin effect. If you click and drag, drag out. Uh, it looks pretty good. You can make the ridges you want. Uh, and let's go, actually let's go to the point tool. And let's go to wireframe view. And let's use drag select. And we're going to adjust the pumpkin a little bit. Because typically pumpkins aren't perfectly round. Let's go like this. Okay, let's call that good. And now I'm going to go back to flat shaded view. And now that we have the basic shape we want, I'm going to turn off back select and we're going to use the slice tool. I turned off back select because we don't want to select things on the back side. We're just selecting things on the front side. I'm going to try to make a large mouth here.
I found this tool could be a little bit finicky. As you can see. There we go. There's a mouth. And it doesn't have to be even on both sides because typically when you're covering a pumpkin, it's not perfect. So uh, click on this tool, face select. Now you should be able to select by right clicking all the faces you want. Some of them aren't selecting for me, but I'm going to press delete. And the ones I miss, if I rotate a little bit, I should be able to get them. One more I still missed. There we go. Press delete. So after you select each one, you press delete and they all delete. Alright, there we go. There's our mouth. Let's go back to front view and we're going to make some eyes. Turn off arc rotate. All right, so go back to uh, the slice tool. And let's go ahead and, all right, now here we go. Let's go like that. Tool is definitely a little finicky here. It's a little touchy. Okay. So now we can select the faces we do not want. Press delete. Uh, another option we get we could also cut off the top and remove the top, but for uh, this design we're not going to. All right. Now that so the face tool still the face select tool still. Uh, uh, being uh, being used, so we can do edit, select all. I'm going to use. Oh, here it is, the extrude tool. We're going to extrude. There's two extrude tools. This one keeps all the faces connected. Click this one. Click in the background. We're going to drag it out like this. There you go. Our pumpkin's nice and 3D now. I uh, see how it's yellow. That means it's still selected. So we click on the select tool, click in the background, it should deselect it. Uh, let's change back to object edit mode, click on the full object. Let's add a material so we can add some color. Click apply, there we go. It's looking pretty good so far, kind of a creepy, scary mouth. All right. Let's go back to front view. Turn off arc rotate. Uh, this would be a good time to save it. Yeah, save your project so you don't lose it. Uh, but right now I'm going to go to edit and hide. Uh, we're going to make a stem. So I'm going to use this curve path tool. And I'm going to start here. Start making what I think looks like some sort of stem. Build, lathe, spin around the y axis. 12 sections will be just fine. There we go. With that still selected, I'm going to double click on new and choose brown to make a new material. Click apply. Uh, let's move it up a little bit. I'm going to use, use the up arrow. Let's also get rid of the original spline. Uh, let's go to edit, show all. The pumpkin should show up. Let's click the pumpkin and 
No, let's do one more thing first. Let's go to the warp modifier. Maybe click around here and drag up. Bend. Okay. Uh, let's make it a little bigger. There we go. Uh, use the select tool. I'm going to right click on the stem so only these two items are selected. Build. Modifiers. Bind them. Double click. Curve it. I'm going to do around, I don't know, 75. Click OK. Yeah, it looks good. Build. Modifiers. Effect modifier. Now I can go back and select the pumpkin again and move it up. And now you're kind of just in the stem however you want. Whatever you think looks good. Okay. View front. There you go. Uh, if you're one of my students watching this video, um, as usual, I want you to put your name on it. Build. Extrude. There you go. Let's go back to smooth shaded view and see how it looks. There you go. Here's your pumpkin. If you have any questions, let me know. Take care.